Well, welcome to the sideboard one last time here at the Star City Games Team Modern Open in Columbus, part of the RCG Tour, brought to you by Ultimate Guard Carnox Shares. I'm Nick Miller alongside some open champions for Harlan Fear, number four. Yep. For Dan Jessup, number two. Yep. And Zach Allen, number one, after a player's championship run last year where you came close many times. Yep. You got to seal the deal in game three, the deciding match. Yep. How do, how's it feel? Oh, it feels incredible. Especially, I don't have a great record against Dilk's lifetime. He's an incredible player, so getting to beat him was just awesome. It felt great. You guys are both on mulligans to six. Yep. You have a decent hand. When he starts attacking with the Tribe Scout, you have to imagine you're in a decent spot there. Yeah, I mean, I've played some Amulet in the past, and I know like I know that if he's attacking, it means his hand's insane, and if he draws a land, I'm in a lot of trouble, but luckily he didn't, and it worked out for me. Dan, yeah. a ton of top eights for you. Yeah. You have a one-day open win back from 2014, but Long time. you had always been right there for a two-day open trophy. Yeah, no, it's it's cool. I mean, I, I had a lot of quarterfinal exits in these top eights. Some, you know, and a one team finals loss with uh, Jim and Kevin King a couple of years back. But yeah, no, I mean, it, it at this point, it's like if it happens, great. You know, for a while, I was putting probably pressure on myself. It was unnecessary, and you know, we just had a great team this weekend. We did a lot of winning, and I lost like probably my third ish match. I think it was my third actual loss. So I felt kind of bummed, but they both picked up the slack in the finals. So. Harlan, number four. All of you are obviously starting the year off great for a PC run again. Two of you were there last year. For Team Nova, you guys pick up some trophies, but for you, number four, you're, you're entering rarefied air once you hit four and yeah. five here on the SCG Tour. Harlan, how's it feeling? It's feeling good. I, uh, I was a little worried I was going to be a, a little ways out because my first one was in 2014 and my then it was 2017, 2019. So we, we sped it up by another year. So maybe we'll get another one this year then. Talk about the decks here because one of the few teams not on a bunch of duplicate decks. Obviously, you all have Okos in your deck. Massively played card here in this tournament. Uh, go down the line, talk about your deck selection. You specific, the Bant Snowblade deck, you got. You guys both played that at the it, Players' Championship, yeah, yep. but here it seemed to be actually more well-positioned than it was at the PC. Yeah, it actually, it shaked out that way. Um, kind of like the, the bad matchups just are pretty bad against Urza, um, for the most part, except like Red Prowess. Um, don't get me wrong, Urza's the best deck. The Blade deck is definitely not the best deck. It's a very good deck, and I'm not fooled. I just don't like the Urza deck. <laughs> Once Oko's banned, I'll go back to playing Urza, but I don't like the like the mid-range manage a million permanents every game. I like my tempo decks, and the Urza matchup itself is pretty 50-50. You either, either one of you can snowball, um, but I really just, I don't like playing decks I don't like, and I like this deck and not the Urza deck, so. Zach, you're on one of the newer iterations of a deck here in Modern. Talk about this one. Yeah, I uh, was gonna play the, the Bant Snow deck, just coming off the PC, it seemed, it seemed good, but uh, I just wasn't feeling it when I was testing online. It wasn't performing as good as I would have liked. I wasn't liking the builds I was coming up with. Uh, I saw that the, the field Titan deck I ended up playing was doing pretty well online. Tried it out, uh, just went on a huge win streak. Uh, thought the Urza matchup was really good. Figured we'd play against a bunch of Urza decks. Uh, made a couple changes and decided to reg it. Got to talk about the Crater Hoof, yeah. as that came yeah. up a lot. in a there lot of situations yeah. to win games. Real good. Yes. Yeah, yeah. The, uh, as, like, as I was testing, it kind of became like, it was just like, it's like a combo deck where like, instead of getting Valakut or Scapeshift to kill them, you just kill them with Crater Hoof and Field. And it really matters against other decks that can gum up the board. Uh, it matters again. It mattered against the Band Snowblade deck a lot. I, I killed John Hobbs at one point where he was at 56 life with an equipped batter skull and I just killed. I did 100 damage in one attack phase. So, um, yeah, I, I don't know. I, I think it's like part of what, like, the deck is very slow and grindy, and it has a, a really hard time in matchups that are fast, like Storm. I got destroyed by Storm, and it's just the only way you can really win those matchups. I just think it's the best thing for that. And, uh, yeah, Caleb got me in the quarters on uh, turn three. He killed me, or I guess semifinals. Mm -hmm. but he killed me on turn three, but I had the turn four Crater if I was going to kill him the next turn, and he just, he had it, and, you know, that's modern. But uh, I think it's an important aspect of the deck, and it was it was really crucial a couple times this tournament. Dan, you're on the best deck of the tournament, <laughs> as uh. usual. Uh, I assume you just play the best deck because it's the best deck. Any, yeah. any inclination to this yeah. build? No, I just... Uh, it seemed very powerful. It's like a mid-rangey deck. It's got it's a little more in it's a little more intricate than like what I 
would prefer to play. I prefer when it is literal Jun that is the best deck, that it's very straightforward. And then as soon as I decided that, I would float it between some lists. And then thankfully Canister did really well in some of the online events and well, he's yeah. I'm gonna take the best deck from the best guy at building decks currently. So yeah, that that we made like a change or two just for uh, probably probably for worse. And um, <laughs> yeah. It, All right. it worked out, I won a bunch with it. Closing shout outs go down the line. Uh, shout out to Nova and all of our wonderful sponsors. Uh, check us out on Twitter. Follow them on Twitter. Um, girlfriend Liz at home and my dog Nate, as always. Uh, shout out to all my family. Uh, it's my grandma's birthday today and she's watching, so shout out to my grandma. Uh, <laughs> yeah, shout out to Harlan and Team Nova out. for picking me up this year. And uh, a big shout out to uh, Pam, the owner of RIW. She really has made it possible for me to get to a bunch of SCGs and it's can do it without her. Damn, I used to have stuff prepared for this when I did this like, on the team and I could chill well. Well, we but, had to pull you out of retirement. Yeah. Um, I mean, just my teammates, my friends who I do, you know, like currently I've, I've played less over the last couple of years, just working more and like I love the first open of the year because it's like a nice refresher point after and can't really spend a better way doing it than actually winning it. So. All are. right, great job, guys. Harlan, Zach, Dan, congratulations. You're the champions here in Columbus. Thank you. Cedric and Patrick are going to close it out.